As a grower, you are always working towards achieving the best quality of your crop. To make this possible, Eurofins Agro provides you all essential information related to water, fertilization, growing media, and plant health. In this presentation, Jan Hardeman explains testing of growing media for greenhouse applications. Hello, my name is Jan Hardeman. In this presentation, I'd like to tell you more about the quality of growing media for greenhouse applications. This is video number three within our Horti Expert Presentations and Sessions 2021. First, the overview of the greenhouse. We focus in this presentation on the growing media, the chemical parts, the physical part, and the biological part. The growing media, they consist of one or more raw materials, like mineral wool, peat, perlite, cocoa peat, wood fiber, and several other possibilities. In reducing the peat content in growing media, substrate suppliers are searching for alternatives, like wood fiber, but they have other characteristics. So it's very important to know the quality of this type of product. The substrate suppliers produce crop-specific mixtures with optimal pH, EC levels, plant-available nutrients. The water content and the uptake is very important of these substrates and also the air content. If we look at the contaminants of growing media, depending on the type of raw materials you use, there can be several contaminants present in the growing media. It's good to know which contaminants are present, and there are several techniques to analyze heavy metals, pesticide residues, plant pathogens, human pathogens, weeds, visual contaminants like glass or stones, and sodium. To check the quality of the raw materials and substrates, there is the RHP quality mark. They ensure the quality of the substrate in the chain of production to processing at the company of the grower. And Eurofence Agro is accredited by the RHP for a range of analysis to check the quality of the raw materials and the substrate mixtures. In this presentation, I'd like to focus on three important quality checks. The first one is the pH in organic growing media the second one is the clay humus complex, the CEC complex of the coir. Third one is the are the physical properties of growing media. The first one, pH in organic growing media. Quality requirements set for growing media by growers. pH, EC, nutrients, and the air content. The first one I like to discuss is the pH. The supplier of the growing media calculate the lime dosage to get the desired pH. When the pH of the raw materials is too low. The chemical reaction after adding the lime, you can see is this overview. The pH will rise because of the carbonate will catch, will neutralize the hydrogen ions. This process will take more time in dry growing media. So in this case, you have slow pH stabilization. It's very important to check how fast this will go. And that's why we have a specific analysis method to analyze the pH after some days, after moistening the sample. In this figure, you see how many days it will take to get a stable pH in new produced growing media. So at the end of the seven days, the pH will reach the level for the grower. The growing media check. It will give insight in the pH and plant available nutrients in produced organic growing media. The parameters are pH, EC, micro, micro elements. In addition, we can analyze aluminium and urea. 
The method is the same like the potting soil check, one to two, 1.5 volume extraction with water after seven days stabilization. So we moistening the produced growing media, store it for seven days and analyze it after seven days to get a stable pH. The next one I like to discuss is the CEC complex of the coir. Naturally, there is a lot of potassium and sodium on the clay humus complex, the cation exchange capacity of coir. Using coir with an unbalanced CEC complex as a growing media will lead to calcium and magnesium deficiencies during cultivation. So it's very important to check this coir. Check the coir after washing and buffering the product. We have a specific analysis method. The 1 to 1.5 extraction with water. In this analysis, you will see the plant available salts and nutrients and a 1 to 1.5 extraction with barium chloride. And this one will analyze the potassium, sodium, calcium and magnesium, the plant available, including the cations present on the CEC complex. And the target for well-buffered coir is that the calcium and magnesium together is higher than 0.9 millimol per liter extract. The coir check. It will give insight in plant available nutrients, but also in the amount of potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, the cations, which are sticked to the CSC complex. The parameters PHEC and water soluble ammonium and other macro elements and micro elements. And also in the barium chloride extract, the barium chloride soluble cations. The method, 1 to 1.5 volume extraction with water and barium chloride. The turnaround time is two days. The next one I like to discuss are the physical properties of growing media. The quality requirements set for growing media by growers. The next one, the air content. The suppliers are creating optimal mixtures with the right air content for a specific crop and according to the water gift strategy of the grower. Also the water gift strategy is important. Upper flow systems, drip irrigation, overhead irrigation, depending on this type of irrigation systems, an optimal mixture is made by the substrate supplier. A very important one is the water air ratio in the substrate. This depends on the particle sizes, the pore structure, the stability of the mixed raw materials in this growing media. And the pore structure will influence the water uptake and so also the air filled porosity. And the binding of water. The air filled pores are very important because oxygen diffusion within the root bowl must be at the right level to prevent the root structure are, is bad. So if you have less oxygen around the roots, the roots are very small. So the air filled pores amount is very important. The report will look like this. The water retention analysis. So we analyze the moisture level of the substrate. We analyze the organic matter, bulk density, and also the shrinkage. The shrinkage is also very important. So if the pots are filled with substrate, that it will stay the amount at the same level in the pot. So at the edge of the pot and not lower during cultivation. So we have a specific method, the shrinkage analysis. We analyze also the pores and the water percentage and the air percentage at different pressure height. So pressure height of minus 10 centimeters is PF1. Pressure height minus 100 centimeters is PF2 in the water retention curve. So this analysis is the physical check. It will give insight in shrinkage, 
plant available water and air content at different pressure heights. Several parameters to monitor this, including also the water ratio of the organic matter after drying. The method is a Dutch method developed years ago and is comparable with EN methods. The turnaround time is around 15 days. So the conclusion, there are several methods to check the quality of new produced substrates. The growing media check, purpose to check the pH, EC, and plant available nutrients in growing media after seven days stabilization. The second one, the coir check, the purpose to check the buffering capacity, plant available nutrients and salts in coir growing media. The third one, the physical check, the purpose check plant available water and air content in growing media. For more information, please visit our website to check analysis and insights, and also more information about sending your samples. Thanks for listening. Do not hesitate to contact us for further information, and I hope we can help you with checking the quality of your substrate. Thanks. <laughs>